हेलो स्टूडेंट्स नाउ वी आर बैक विद द लास्ट पार्ट ऑफ द चैप्टर कॉन्स्टिट्यूशनल डिजाइन दिस इज रिलेटेड विद द फिलोसफी ऑफ द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन नाउ वेन वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट द फिलोसफी ऑफ द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन दैट मीन्स द वैल्यूज दैट इंस्पायर्ड एंड गाइडेड द फ्रीडम स्ट्रगल एंड वर्क इन टर्न नर्चर बाई इट फॉर्म द फाउंडेशन ऑफ इंडियाज डेमोक्रेसी these values are embedded in the preamble of the indian constitution they guide all the articles of the indian constitution the constitution begins with a short statement of its basic values this is called the preamble to the constitution taking inspiration from american model most countries in the contemporary world have chosen to begin their constitutions with a preamble now what is preamble preamble is just like an index of the constitution which is also called the introduction of the constitution now we'll discuss about the preamble preamble start the words we the people of india that means the constitution has been drawn up and enacted by the people through representatives and not handed down to them by a king or any other outside powers next important keyword is sovereign that means people have supreme right to make decisions on internal as well as external matters and no external power can dictate the government of india socialist that means wealth is generated socially and should be shared equally by society next keyword of preamble is secular that means citizens are having freedom to follow any religion and there is no official religion of the country government treats all religious beliefs and practices with equal respect next democratic that means a form of government where people enjoy equal political rights elect their rulers and hold them accountable the government is run according to some basic rules next is republic that means the head of the state is an elected person not a hereditary position and after that some rights for the citizens that is justice that means citizens cannot be discriminated on the grounds of caste religion and gender social inequalities have to be reduced government should work for the welfare of all especially of the disadvantaged group next is liberty liberty means freedom that means no restrictions on the citizens in what they think how they wish to express their thoughts and the way they wish to follow up their thoughts in action equality all are equal before the law the traditional social inequalities have to be ended the government should ensure equal opportunity for all and the most important word of this preamble is fraternity that means brotherhood all of us should behave as if we are member of the same family no one should treat a fellow citizen as inferior so this is this was the introduction of the constitution which reflect which reflects about the constitution of country the constitution describes the institutional arrangements in a very legal language so first time after reading this it is very difficult to understand but the basic institutional design is not very difficult to understand which we will continue in the remaining chapters thank you